Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 39, a few quick tips. Hey everybody, I just have a few quick tips for you. Some different things that might be useful. And um, if you can get anything out of it, that's great. Can opener tip. I use this to open my cans, my paint cans, and I also use a flathead screwdriver, but I would use it a lot. So if, when I couldn't find them, I would use my keys. And sometimes I would bend my keys <laughs> trying to open stuff. So what I did was I took one of those uh, can openers, and uh, they give them to you free at the paint store, and then I cut it off and drilled a hole on the end and put it on my key ring. And now, when I, go, when I can't find my other stuff, I just use the one right off my key ring. We're using a roller cover tip. Sometimes you don't want to get a new roller out and you have a color that's similar to another color you're going to be using. So what you can do is you can take that and go ahead and roll it out in the new color that you want. And then after you do that, you take it and you put it up against the can and kind of uh, squeegee some of the old paint out. And then you roll it again. And then you can start using it without having to get a new roller. Existing work table tip. Well, I have a work table I use, but sometimes, wherever I'm at, there is an existing table. And what I do is I just go ahead, and nobody's using it, I throw a tarp over it, and uh, I just use that as my work table so I don't have to get my other work table out. Expensive red and cheap red. Sometimes I use a cheaper red to mix the colors with. Like I can take this yellow and take my cheaper red, which is just regular house paint, and mix it in. And I can still get some good vibrant colors. But if I'm doing lettering, I like to use the more expensive red. And uh, here's a link here where you can, uh, to my other video that talks about this. But you can see the difference between the two, the two paints, the cheap red and the expensive red. Dry your roller covers tip. Don't forget to dry your roller covers because this is what will happen. <laughs> and I forgot to do it on this one. Step ladder tip. Use a little step ladder instead of a big ladder. It saves you time having to get your big ladder out. And uh, I guess it's an obvious tip, but sometimes people don't think of it. I didn't always think of that either. Variety of expressions tip. When you're doing characters, use a variety of expressions. You know, some winking, some with big eyes, some with their mouth open, some not. You want variety because it's a lot more eye-catching. Buying pre-mixed colors. Okay, here I've got, uh, I've been doing a lot of onion rings things lately, so instead of mixing it up each time the color, I went ahead and bought a quart of the color that I'm going to use for the onion rings, which makes it a lot easier instead of having to mix it each time. And then I can also add like a darker brown to it to get the shadow and a little bit of white and yellow for the highlight. Well, I hope you enjoyed all those tips and um, talk to you later. Bye.